Alrighty, I think I'm going to call this video Easy Carve Halloween Blocks. And uh, before we get going, I want to show you again how this came about. Wife Sophie has uh, pulled out our Halloween decorations again. And uh, I made these, I don't even know how many years ago. But you can see they're painted and uh, not carved. And I said, no more of this. This is gone. We're going to carve these. But before we get going, I've been doing a lot of these e easy carves. And I just want to spend a little time talking about them. And that uh, they're easy. They're simple. They're crafty. But they're not, uh, I don't know. There's no, uh, the degree of difficulty does not, does not uh, translate to their value. Like a crappy carving is not because of a, difficult or non-difficult it's uh, it's how you finish them or what you do with them or where you take them and uh something i've been mulling over is the simplicity is not a bad thing and uh, it's satisfying it teaches the beginner and the professional to take their time do clean cuts learn how to paint proper and it's a great starting point and if you never leave that point who cares it looks nice so what I'm going to talk about, like, uh, let's say, let's go back to the uh, little little square apples. We do these little square apples, all right? Fun, easy little carve. But then uh, I went ahead and made a big apple, all right? Clean cuts and a good paint job. That would sell all day in a craft, craft show, you know, gift store, whatever you want. Like, that is a nice carving, even though it's easy. Same thing with our little books. We did our little books the other day. Little set of these little little carved books. Well, I made a big book. Heck, I put a I put a, a bookworm sticking out of it and uh, put an apple on it. What a great teacher teacher gift. So that's what I'm talking about. And crappy carving comes from a crappy carver or a crappy paint job. I always tell the story uh, when I was building houses that. Uh, you know, you work and you work, you build the house, you trim it all out real nice. And there was this one time we had this uh, these homeowners, family, and they were money was tight and they needed to uh, they needed to save a couple bucks to make the whole mortgage thing work for them. So they asked if they could paint their house. So we built the house, trimmed it all out, and then let them paint it. Well, we did a good job, but their painting sucked so bad that it made the whole house look like crap. And that's what I'm talking about. So take your time. Cut clean and learn how to paint. And a simple carving, like, like this is what I'm going to talk about today too. Again, these little fellas are nice and neat and clean. And again, they'll sell all day at a craft show or a gift shop or whatever you want. Or you get a kiss from your better half. Like these are fun little carvings, even though they're simple, right? And then if you want to take it farther, you know, you can make a bigger one. There again, a little stick, a little bit of raffia, a little bit of wire. whoop de do, Looks good. Not difficult, but done well, if I say so myself. <laughs> but shading in the paint, uh, just clean cuts, no fuzzy stick, you know. So that's what I want to uh, try and hammer home. I'm probably doing a terrible job at it, but even last week we did the, uh, I don't know if I have one handy, the little pumpkin faces. Well... If uh, if you're too good or you've moved on beyond that, then take your pumpkin head. And oh, here we are. A little little smoking guy I made last week. This is the one for the video. I turned around and uh, took it to the next step and made a, a jumbo jumbo pumpkin head. So that's what I'm talking about. So easy or not, these are great not only for beginners but. Uh, they're great gifts, easy. Who wants to give away something that uh, took you five hours to make? That's that's a little bit more difficult than uh, than a little thinking of you. Here's a pumpkin. Happy fall, happy Halloween. So, anyway, let's move on. Uh, easy carve Halloween blocks. So, like I said, these have been rolling around for years in my house, and uh, I decided to carve them this year. So. That's what we're going to do. We're going to carve up some of uh, these little guys. We're not going to do every one individually, but uh, I started doing these like that. And then 
I got carried away and made these pumpkins. Here, I'll, I'll put them in order here. I made these pumpkins like this with staggered heights. So they weren't just the squares and I kind of like that. So then I moved on and uh, made the same thing, staggering heights with the blocks. So we're just gonna play around today. Hopefully give you some ideas. Here's one that does not deserve, uh, doesn't deserve a, uh, a tutorial, but candy corn. I mean, I think that looks nice. Now, why does it look nice? Because it's clean. The paint is uh, kind of blended. It's soft. It's it's a, it's a paint wash. Kind of looks folky, antiquey. But if you goobered on solid white, solid orange, and solid yellow, I think this looks much better, right? So, anyway. I hope that doesn't sound arrogant in any way. It's just uh, some thoughts I've been thinking about. And uh, let's just set up a, a pumpkin and uh, maybe Frankenstein or a ghost or something. And uh, let's just uh, get into it. This, this block here, what do we got? that's two and a half inch. That's two inch. And a square, of course, is inch and a half by inch and a half. All right. So let's just take the middle one here. Let's just do a little whittling on it and... Uh, See what we come up with. All right, so we got our little block of wood here. It's two inch, inch and a half. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, let's knock the corners off it. All right. I'm gonna set up ones. I think we'll just do individual sides. We'll make a make them on different sides here. All right. So if we're setting up the pumpkin here, uh, I always say the paint takes uh, takes better to carved faces, right? So we want to, uh, we want to put facets and carve off the outside edge so that everything will be carved in the end, right? Okay, same as the top. But my corners are not, uh, not always straight. They're kind of round or, you know, Mix them up, and we're just uh, taking the corners off. All right, now, again, top is always harder to, uh, and grain's always harder to carve, but we might as well set it up. So we want everything to be carved. We don't want any, the paint would just suck right into that so fast. I made a painting video for the pumpkins, if you haven't seen it, which is, uh, is good, uh, good stuff to get you painted nice and neatly, but, all right, but anyway, this is, this is so easy, it's not funny, but let's just say we're going to do a little two-inch pumpkin, okay? And we're going to cross, cross our corners, we're going to drill a little hole, matching size dowel or, or stick, I use a stick in this one, okay? I just tied some raffia and curly cued some wire. And uh, just poke that wire, wiggle the drill bit a little bit, give a little extra room. And I poke that wire with a flat screwdriver into the same hole as the dowel. And that worked really nice. So, okay. So then this one's a small one. So we just need one, one little uh, V cut here. Now you can do this with your knife or a V tool, right? The knife is just a V cut. Okay. Same thing, but we'll stick with the V tool. Then we're going to go across and over and down. All right? And that is basically your pumpkin. And the, the the video last week of the painting will get you uh, get you going. But that's not what we're here for. It's a simple simple little pumpkin, little bottom. If you do that little cut in the bottom, it just gives you a little little shadow. Is it shadow? All right, so that's not what we're gonna do. So let's do uh, another side here. Let's just whip up a little Frankenstein. This video is really gonna be about ideas and things you can do. All right. So again, just taking the corners off. That black stuff is a uh, stropping compound. Right. And again, just carve your face. If it splits, go the other way. Right. 
all these here are inch and a half by inch and a half square. All right, so that's the difference in this one. But I mean, it's kind of hard doing one face at a time. But let's do uh, let's do Frankenstein. So basically, just a little jagged, jagged hairline. What are we gonna do? If we draw our eyes down like this, it looks a little bit more angrier. All right. I'll just give them a big, pretty simple, so, thicker knife. That's a, by the way, that's a flex cut detail. Really available everywhere. That's why I'm using it. V right. cuts. All these cuts are just a little bit of an angle out. So the point sticks out okay there's your hair and then for the eyes same thing we're just kind of doing that little half circle like that bit of an angle I'm gonna cut that out first All right. and then we'll, we'll do the eyes eyes I'm tilting in now and I'm just gonna come around You know, sometimes it doesn't matter if they're the exact same shape either. Sometimes a, a small one and a big one work. Take the corners out. Clean that up. A stop cut. Alright. Fun little, uh, fun little carvings. Split the eye. All right, we got some eyes. I like to have a little. This is a shoe brush, but I always kind of wipe it and see what comes. Any little fuzzies pop out. But this cut when you go around with your knife. It gets a little wonky, so just go a little bit smaller, and then uh, yeah, there you go. Now, if we want to, we can deepen those corners a little bit to make it stand out. All right, All right and then a the mouth, nice deep cut across, deep cut. One, two, three, and one, two, that's not so good, and three. Okay, then so we'll clean up these little corners where it doesn't quite, quite make it. brush. Okay. If I was painting it after the fact, I can always take a little fine black marker and just draw on some little stitching too. Right? I can put a nail sticking in each corner. You know I mean, like little nails like that. Sticking straight out, painted black. But that's the basic idea for that guy. You know, I don't know that we have to go around and do all these uh, characters, but Let's say, uh, yeah, let's do we one more. We did do let's one do more, one. and we did the uh, the pumpkin face, but my microphone fell down my shirt. I went outside, took all the pictures for the thumbnail, put it on the video editor, and I was like, so let's, uh, let's do it again. That's why you'll, all this to say, that's why there's going to be two pumpkin faces. So that was the one we did, so let's do it again. 
I've already done the face of this, so let's just round off these corners here. But, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I did the editing, got right to that clip, and it was like <laughs> all muffled and crappy. So I tried to put a little apology thing saying, uh, it's a technical difficulty, and I can't live with that. So anyway, there's my center mark. And uh, you can just do your own research on your uh, on your pumpkin faces if you want, but let's just do something. Just two two triangles on the side here, right? And we'll give them a big happy face, little tails on the mouth. All right. Now, what I was saying the first time was, I'm going in on these, and I'm keeping my knife straight up and down straight in all right because if i go on an angle at all i'm going to make a chip cut and i'm going to pop that out and i don't want that to pop out i want straight sides so that i have a little raised part in the middle all right so i'm going to go pop that out like that i'm going to pop that out there and here take a little angle off of here a little bit off of here. See, I want to keep the meat in the middle of the of the eyeball. See that? I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want a big chip cut. Is what I'm trying to say. But guys, I am so sick. This is round two of my. About like two weeks ago, came seems to have come back and bit me again so if I'm uh, not making sense or mumbling too much then I'm gonna give today I'll give myself that excuse but I wanted to get a video up for you and I've been playing with it all week so why not but anyway there's your eyeballs very easy like I said you can re do your own research and uh, make any kind of a uh, Pumpkin eye you want. Yep. Let me cut that off. Clean that up. Take my brush. Where's my brush? Everything's gone. Okay. Oops, sorry, Mike. And I can go around these edges. Come back. So they look nice and clean. See that eye versus that eye? A little chip up in there. But a little extra little cut here makes a difference. Just beveling it back. Okay, there's your eyeballs. Okay. And then I just paint them black and the rest orange. I got this. This is the side of Frankenstein's hair, in case you're wondering. And a big smile. That's a nice big smile. I like these little tails on that mouth too, so I'm going to keep them. A little bit of an angle this way. Yeah. And then I'm going to come in a little bit of an angle here. Pulling out to my tip here so that I don't get chatter on that rounding. Alright. I'm just going to pop that out. There. Pop that out. Come around. Like so. And then the same thing. I'm going to deepen the top. Slightly bevel that a little bit more. Right out to the tip. There we go. And just a light bevel on the top. Get up, get up, get up. 
All right, there you go. And of course, I don't have enough space here. We don't even have to do that. How simple is that, right? Big one, little one, little kidney shaped mouth. Very easy, very fun. All right. All right, so that's that. I guess it was worthwhile to, to do again. You know, same with your carving, same with the video. I could have done a crappy job. Like I said, I tried to put a little story, audio sucked. And then I thought, just do it again and do it right. So we made a little Frankenstein, plain little pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. But like I said, probably more of an idea video than a real tutorial. But uh, I do like these staggered ones over the, uh, the stacking ones. Now, of course, the idea of these is they can you know, stack them up or put them side by side or, you know, whatever. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. I hope I feel better soon, and I hope uh, you can stay and listen to me with my nasally voice. But that is our video this week, and like I said, lots of ideas, and uh, have fun with it. Simple is your friend. It's not uh, It's not a bad thing. It's fun. It's satisfying. Quick little curves, and uh, you can do them any, anywhere, anytime. So there you go. Thanks to anybody who bought me a coffee this week. Uh, never expected, but always appreciated. And... Uh, I'll be back again when I'm feeling better and uh, I have a new idea. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the fall. Enjoy the season. It's coming if you like it or not. So might as well enjoy it. Later.